In this presentation, we will talk about course and learning objectives, what they are, what they consist of, and why they are important to your course design. Let's start by discussing what course and learning objectives are and identify the differences between them. Course objectives are broad, measurable, and observable statements of what students will be able to do at the end of the course. Whereas learning objectives are specific, measurable, and observable statements of what the students will be able to do at the end of a unit of instruction. After reviewing the definitions, we can see that course objectives are broad statements that reflect general outcomes of learning at the culmination of your course. When thinking about your course objectives, you might ask yourself, what do I want my students to know or be able to do at the end of my course? In contrast, learning objectives are targeted and specific statements rooted in your expectations for student performance that designate exactly what the students need to do to demonstrate mastery of course material. We can think of learning objectives as the foundation upon which the rest of your course is built. The student behavior that you will describe in your learning objectives must be accessible through your learning activities and assessments and should contribute to the student's ability to achieve the course objectives. In short, if a student masters the more specific learning objectives, they then should be able to demonstrate that they've mastered the broader course objectives. When designing the learning objectives for your course, you may want to think about how your course objectives can be broken down into a sequence of skills or knowledge-based competencies that build upon each other. And now that we've talked at length about what learning objectives are, let's take a look at a learning objective and its various parts. First of all, you'll see that this learning objective uses the word you. Ideally, learning objectives should be student-centered so that your students can easily recognize that the learning objective reflects your specific expectation of what they should accomplish. And next you will notice that this learning objective uses the word differentiate, which is an action verb drawn from Bloom's taxonomy. We'll talk about that more in depth in the next presentation in this series, but for now, you should know that all learning objectives should include an action verb drawn from one of the levels of Bloom's taxonomy. This ensures that your learning objectives describe measurable and accessible student behavior. And finally, the last part of this learning objective provides specific details of the knowledge students are expected to learn and be able to demonstrate. Remember that your learning objectives should be clear and precise. You want to be sure to include enough description so that it's apparent to your students exactly what they need to know or be able to do to successfully achieve the learning objective. At this point, we've talked quite a bit about what learning objectives are and what they look like. Now let's spend some time looking at why learning objectives are important. As I mentioned earlier, learning objectives form the foundation for everything else that occurs in your course. And perhaps most importantly, they provide the basis for alignment among all the various components of your course. Once you've established your learning objectives, you will need to find the teaching strategies that will best convey the information your students need to achieve those objectives. You will then identify and create learning activities that will provide the appropriate opportunities for your students to practice the knowledge and skills outlined in your learning objectives, and you will develop assessments that will accurately measure the extent to which your students have achieved your learning objectives. To conclude this presentation, let's look at the benefits of learning objectives. Learning objectives provide structure and continuity to your course. They help you organize the course materials, they provide the students with a clear direction or path that will guide their learning. And finally, learning objectives assist students in understanding how your course materials relate directly to their educational goals. This concludes this presentation on the fundamentals of learning objectives. Thanks for watching.